Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. We're going to be reviewing none other than B683 by Marc-Antoine Barrois. I also got Ganymede, which I already reviewed, and B683's Extra de Parfum, which I will be reviewing very soon, guys. So these three I already have by the brand Marc-Antoine Barrois. The perfumer behind it is Quintin Biche, which is an amazing young talent. He got picked up by Givaudin right now, he's working there and he's producing literally gems. I haven't smelled the newest one, Encelade, which he has produced for the brand, but I believe it's going to be a good one. But to be honest, it's going to be very hard to beat these ones already. So I'm expecting a lot from him. The guy is just amazing. So let's go on with B683. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do a comparison review between the B683 Extra de Parfum and the normal Eau de Parfum. And the whole lineup as a whole you will see it coming up very soon guys so let's just compare first of all the colors like the normal Ganymede and this one just look how dark the color is I imagine the wood is even darker because it's an extra de parfum and presumably they only sell a couple of hundred bottles each year because they are using real wood in this one Looking at price-wise, 50 ml for almost $300, I truly believe they use real wood inside of it. And I can really smell real wood. It doesn't really smell synthetic at all. I have smelled real, real wood before, and this one is just the same stuff, basically. So let's just spray once the Eau de Parfum and see what happens. The sprayers are just amazing, guys. It's like a fresh shower immediately. It's leathery, you're getting a lot of saffron, which I really adore, the saffron note, like it's this Arabian spices, the spices from the Middle East as a whole, I just love it. A lot of nutmeg, saffron, and woody aspects like cedar wood. It, it, it's a nice leather accent as a whole, you're getting this nice fresh leather Scent. In the background you will be getting some patchouli and some oak moss but I'm getting some cedar wood and some sandalwood in the background. It has a, a very fresh aspect guys. This one is just... How could I describe this one the best? It's very hard to describe a scent like this one just like Ganymede because Ganymede smells like some kind of ozonic spaceship something that came from our Mars with, with Elon Musk, like Elon Musk came with this one. It's, it's a scent you should be wearing, this one. Although it's an amazing scent, can be worn by a lot of guys. Uh, this one is, is fresher. I can't really put it because it's so hard to describe these scents. They are very hard to describe. A lot of black pepper, saffron, nutmeg, it's overly dominating. The leather is very prominent. Let me put it this way. These scents are very leathery and you will be getting wood you are also getting wood in this one but in the extra de parfum you are getting way more wood this is just a blast of wood and extra de parfum is just it's it's on another level although this one is also amazing guys very leathery it's a unisex scent i believe i believe some women can wear this one but not all of them can pull this one off, depending on your skin, depending how you dress yourself, because it's a really clean leather with some fresh touches. As a lady, you can wear this. As a man, you can wear this. But it's more to the manly side. I would advise you to wear this one only uh, during, like, when you are going out. I don't believe truly this is not an office scent because it comes off a bit more, like, very leathery and very strong, very dominating. Whereas at the office you want a bit more of a likable scent for a general public. This one is more, uh, this one is a true niche, let me put it that way. It's spicy, it's peppery, it smells sophisticated. It smells like it has matured for 20 years in some kind of cave and Quentin Bish went and he found all the ingredients, put them all together and got this one. It's, it's this bottle, this this reminds me of some kind of a nice cognac or whiskey bottle. This, the color itself just screams cognac. <sighs> the 
the saffron is dying down a little bit more it's becoming just a bit sweeter right now and you cannot really go wrong with this one if i would be describing this one the best way i would say this is a clear leathery saffrony nutmeggy scent for all time guys it is pretty unisex leaning more to the manly side sias wise now we are talking about some important stuff sias wise you are going to have like one fit it's not going to be amazing and performance wise four hours for the price you would be saying like it's a bit low i i agree guys it's a, it's a bit of a shame that you are not getting much performance out of this one so that's why i got another one the ganymede the ganymede has astronomic performance and sillage guys this one is just this one fills up a room and goes for hours guys compared to the b683 although they are both amazing and i would heavily advise anyone to go and sniff it can get a sample because you will love one or the other guys or maybe just love both and get all of three although all three of them and give it some time because it will grow on you for sure for me personally it didn't grow on me immediately it wasn't a love at first sniff so for sure get a sample and if i'm not mistaken if you go to the marc antoine barrois website you can get a sample of all three of them and most probably Encelad right now too which i will be getting it's it's amazing guys i'm giving this one a nine and a half out of ten it's not many perfumes i give it so much definitely for a niche scent like this one it does the job very well guys it screams like a smooth gentleman wearing this one like it can be warm like a smooth gentleman but also like a biker guy wearing this with a cool jacket going out it has some iron aspect like it, it it's like i'm smelling a bit of iron but it's not really iron a bit chemical too it's creamy it's not screeching in your face it's nice and round with the leather nose but it also has like these chemical aspects to it i would definitely say it guys get, get the sample because all my words are in vain if you haven't smelled this one if you haven't experienced this one this is not one of those scents i can easily describe now smelling from the cap alone this smells like some kind of fruit like a mandarin like just spraying it on the skin it doesn't smell as much mandarin but right now just smelling from the cap it's a lot of mandarin guys and i believe once it dries down the mandarin note comes up a lot more because i always notice when you spray inside of the cap and you leave it you basically get a dry down and then you can truly smell what a dry down is this one is an amazing scent guys i love it i love this one nine and a half out of ten although performance sillage right, it's weak but if you love the scent go right ahead and buy it guys this is perfumery this is what you love go ahead and buy it wear it alone wear it wherever you like it how you like it do what you are whatever you like guys this is what you like hope you guys enjoyed the review i'll see you guys in the next one ciao ciao